Thank you so much for tuning in one more time. Today this episode will be a little different and it will be a very good one. I know wherever you are, whatever you are doing, God has blessed your Saturday afternoon. This afternoon is midday. You can see it's glowing. <laughs> I stay back there. I stay back there. And I today deliberately came up down here to do the video in an open ground. Now, by uh, going by the 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 comments we did ha we did have a lot of comments last few episodes that passed by the three comments the four comments i mean the four episodes uh, i did uh, two episodes about um, uh, mantles and one episode about impartation uh, now i got serious serious requests of which one request I would really want to talk about and um, uh, today, before I talk about that one uh, that episode, uh, comment that uh, came in in, in in that episode, uh, uh, Suspense Ifo, I believe he comes from Congo. Suspense Ifo, I believe, I take it as a, a great honor to talk about that. Uh, he wanted me to come out and talk about my personal situation of impartation and mantle. I think uh, it's a very long one if I have to do it. But I, I want to request you, uh, man of God, uh, allow me to do that episode maybe uh, in the next one. Uh, it's like a, my personal testimony I can give you because I got so many impartations and uh, definitely just like Paul says, uh, we have many guardians but we have one father. So it's a long, long, long talk in that. So I want to skip it. Maybe my, uh, my talk in the next episode will be brief on that, but I will do it in a very bigger way, specifically, and post it to you in your mail address. Uh, God bless you. But for today, I want us to talk about this thing in one aspect. According to the comments, I come to realize that many people are ashamed of their past. Many people. Many people do not love their past. I'm that one person who loves my past because it's a true story. I'm a pastor who can get a real story from people around me about my past. I don't have to tell it here. If you get one person who know me, they can give you my background. They can give you my story. They can give you my, my, my weaknesses, my past, my, my sufferings, my, 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 my practical life. I'm a practical man, a practical past. I had made mistakes in the past. I had done a lot of things in the past. I've done quite a number of things that I'm not proud of in the past, up to this moment. I've met men, a man that we had to go through here and there, and it did not end well. Some of them end, ended powerfully with a great resource in my life, great advantage in my life. I've met many people. I've messed up some things back while young, well in the middle age, teenage, until in another age. But God restored things. I'm coming from that angle because now many people, if you meet me either in Nairobi, whether in East Africa, whether you find me in South Africa or you find me in Nigeria or you even find me in the UK or Australia, you find me anywhere. Definitely, I am very sure you will not relate me with my past. You may not want me with my past. So I did one episode about the impartation of uh, Dr. Ian Lovu and um, uh, from uh, the impartation was from uh, Prophet Samuel Kakande. And uh, I realized the response I got in uh, the comment section, people were talking differently, people were talking differently. But then my take in this point is in one way. I thank God for one, one YouTube channel, uh, Church Reality Check, uh, Ricky. Ricky responded when uh, there was a good thing that uh, uh, I was instructed from, I don't know who, but they say the YouTube team uh, to protect privacy. They talked about protecting privacy of a man who requested 
the privacy. So I don't want to talk much about this, but I really want to take this approach from this angle that let us have and be proud of our past experiences. My scars are like my stars. Any moment I talk my past, I really brag about my God. That's one thing. When my past looks like it does not look glamorous up to now, I talk about that because I know people can relate God with changing life story of men. I, ra I, I rather talk about, I, I, I may not highlight it here, everything, even now. I decided to take this, this, this episode here uh, in, in these bushy places. If you look back there by yourself, check back there. Those are good places. That's a good house, uh, different areas. Uh, if you go back there, I may take you there, but now I'm doing this episode. It, it's, it's, uh, many people would love to live there, honestly speaking. And uh, that's not my point. My point is that when I come to a place where I can recall back my past and see that I need to get to my past and correct it, and it's corrected now. If it's now corrected, that means my God is a God of restoration and a God of blessing. I can tell you, if you see the life, the life of, um, of uh, Dr. Ian Lovu now, his ministry, mind, the mind uh, he has, and everything in his glamour, you can see and you will definitely know that this man is graced of God. It doesn't matter how much they passed. I saw many comments, people talking about, oh, where, oh, I don't know what happened earlier before. Those happenings are good because we now see, even you people who commented there, you now know God can change stories and can make things look beautiful in good time. That is what we have. So what is God for? If our God cannot change situations, then that is it. Sometimes I have so many people are talking about, oh, when we did, when we started doing all these episodes, so we were looking like this and like that. What is God for if we cannot start with God to come in in a certain scenario? You see, this is why we talk about this God. We brag. Paul says that we don't brag for nothing. We brag for our God because it's him that receives all the glory for having changed one scenario, one situation, one life pattern, one something this or something that, and we end up in a glory, and that glory all goes back to God. We need to tell our past with pride. We may not like it, but I can, if, if people tell me I come back and tell all the story, I see sometimes these prophets, how they started their ministries. Like, uh, for example, let's talk about... Uh, in East Africa, we have Bishop Yusumiro. The way he started his ministry, his life, you can't love it. But God changed his story. The way they started, the wife, the pattern life of wife until they reach today. You can't tell anything. There is something different. I mean, you can't, you can't, you can't deny God changed some story. Uh, let's go back to Skoan. See the story of Prophet T.B. Joshua, how it started, the church, and up to now. See the difference. Get back there. There are all videos that started with him, videos that are of the humble beginnings, uh, where you could go to a restaurant that has no roof. <laughs> you would go, you'd go to different places where there are problems of different kinds. And all of us, we know that. This thing can change stories. God is a God of changes. God can change story of a man. God can change everything, the situation, the condition of every life. So the past is a banner, is a statement that this one, God can change anybody. So if we show other people our past and another person comes in and shows us their present, if they hide the past, sometimes the past has a bigger message than the present. Yes.
Let's get back there and tell people God can change our life from this situation or these people. People who destroyed our lives before, some of them are relatives who are witches. And then we ran to God and God changed our life. I, 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 we need people who can talk that talk, you see, confidently. Come to the comment section and talk to us. Something that happened earlier before. That's why when I started, I told you, this is a like of um, a little different episode today. It's a little different today. And uh, we need to come back there to the ground and see how God can change lives of people. How God can talk to the life of a man. You see, there's a talk and there's an active talk. So let's, let's accept that God can make life beautiful in his own time. The Bible says, and he makes my life beautiful in his appointed time. When God comes in, he makes your life beautiful. It's a story that we set pace that God can do <laughs> exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for. He's a marvelous God. He's a gracious God. Today is a testimonial day. I just want you to see this testimony and know God can change a story. Go to the comment section, my brothers, my sister. I know even if your story is not the glittering story now, it may change to another bigger story than any other ones that we have seen here. So go to the comment section and talk to us. In fact, those who see like uh, their life is all stumbling, talk to us. Write your prayer point there. I know we will pray. And all of you prophets, all of you men of God, you will go there. Pick a prayer point. Pray. They don't have to know us. They don't have to know you. They don't have to know everybody. We are like one family. We can pray for people. I told you uh, this channel, we have different uh, kind of approach on things. This is not a blogging site. We are just doing ministry on this platform. So go back there. Go back there. I know, I thank God, many people, some people have asked for support, for help, for help from me. Because of the numbers that pass through the screen, like this one now passing here. People have asked help and I've directed them. Some of them have helped myself. Some of them have supported myself. Like the ones that are around me, that's easier to deal with when it's uh, uh, an issue I can handle safely. I can quickly pop in and support something here and there. I've received people's calls and people have called me and some of them, I've called some neighbors and some friends and some friends have come in. I gave out their numbers and they supported people. There's, in fact, let me just ask you this one. If you can support us now in this number, Support us, support us. If you can support us, send us even you yourself. Send us the numbers that are passing on the cross or on the on the on the on the screen of your screen here. Just 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 send us a, a support 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 message or even finances if you can. This is the only video I'm doing this, and I don't think I will do another one that talks about this because is we know we know people can change life. People can change life and. Part of a godly family is to use the family to make sure another person has changed. Now I'm talking with this one in confidence. If you can support us, go there. Those numbers are M-Pesa numbers. If you are in East Africa, you can send money through that telephone number, M-Pesa number. Send us. You know, I know someone can send 10,000, 20. You want million. <laughs> you can send it, will come. <laughs> God bless you so much. What I'm talking about is the testimony of Christ. Don't hide your scars. Let people see your scars and read them as a storyline. God has changed your story. Let God change your life. Let God talk to your situation through scars. Let people see the scars and see the stars. Your scars are trademark that you did not pass through the shortcut. Your, star, your scars are just that statement that says, this man has been through something and you come to the bed table of your victory. Now I can tell you, even if you see this great man, there is always a story that has a scar inside. Let me speak to you like people who have seen stories and have heard stories. God can change your story. 
don't hide your stars. Now I'm talking this because it was triggered by uh, that statement where uh, people say we, are, we should cover some secrecy. Uh, secrecy, um, I don't think it was a secret to cover. Uh, everything was in public and we did a public video and that's all. I can't speak more than this, but I definitely know someone has heard what I've spoken about. And this time now, this video as it comes to you, may God increase your grace and glamour. Let God work to your advantage in everything you are doing. God bless you. Once again, Timothy Profitable and this is Blevoy. We handle your spirituality and economic, social matters. See you in the next episode.